When you walked in, I thought I would be prepared. I was not prepared. Four feet into her Middleburg home. That's how high the Black Creek rose during Hurricane Irma. We actually had to kayak out of the home with our dog and our cat. Jaw dropping considering Francis Baylor's home was built seven feet off the ground. It's never flooded here before, ever. I mean, our house is never flooded. When Baylor says the rushing water flooded, from the swollen no, creek sir. ran under her house like a tidal wave, shifting her home, cracking the roof, walls and concrete support beams. You can see where the house actually lifted and, and resettled. Making her house uninhabitable, as well as destroying yes, everything inside it. When the water finally receded, friends and family helped the Baylors strip their house down to its waterlogged beams to start over. And as you can see, the concrete's just... I mean, they're all bowed. But because of all the structural damage everywhere, Baylor says she can't repair. She'll have to rebuild. And that's where her fight for insurance money hit a wall. I have the coverage. I pay you that premium every month. You can see I can't live in this house. Why would you not pay me that? Baylor says she bought the best insurance money could buy. Her homeowner's insurance, nearly $190,000 worth of coverage for the building, $100,000 covering all the contents inside her home. She even added more than $18,000 for loss of use coverage in case her house was so damaged she couldn't live in it anymore. That's why after Irma, Baylor first reached out to her homeowner's insurance. This house is definitely not usable. You can't live here. But Baylor says her homeowner's insurance told her, don't call them, call your flood insurance because Hurricane Irma was a flood event. So with no claim filed under her homeowner's insurance, she can't use that policy's loss of use coverage. Baylor did file a claim with her flood insurance company, but she says they told her the structural damage was not caused by a flood. So the money they gave her. The flood insurance wants to pay to fix it, you can't fix this. The structural damage you can't fix. Baylor says she and her husband instead used that flood insurance money to pay down their mortgage, trying to lessen the cost of the inevitable, demolishing their home and rebuilding. And I have the coverage. I have the coverage to be able to pay off my mortgage and rebuild, but they don't want to pay. And a lot of people think, all right, I've got my homeowner's insurance, I've got my flood insurance. I am covered everywhere. But that's not always the case. You're right. That's not always the case. You can't cover everything. After working as an insurance claims adjuster for years, Almita Monroe has been an insurance agent since 2001. She says when it comes to hurricane coverage, homeowners versus flood insurance, it's a challenge to determine what exactly caused damage to your property. Remember all the people in Clay County who lost their boat docks? When an adjuster comes out, if there's nothing there, we have to sometimes get with an engineer to get an idea what caused the damage to the dock. Was it hurricane? Was it debris in the water? Was it just the waves that washed the dock away? So that's why her, uh, the, the um, boat docks can be a little bit difficult. Also, understanding the language in your insurance policies is key. For example, Frances Baylor says even she didn't realize the phrase full replacement in her policy only applied to the building itself, not her brand new furniture. That's not understanding my policy and not knowing that contents, you typically don't get full replacement. So even though I had more than enough coverage to cover what I had in the home. Having proof of items actually in your home is an important first step, and technology we all have makes that easy. If you don't have the opportunity to make a formal list, take your camera. Just take your cell phone and go around and video everything you have. Because what you're trying to do is give the claims adjuster, should you have damage, an idea of what do you have. Now, Frances Baylor filed a dispute with the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, asking them to declare her home a total loss so she could take that information and prove to her flood insurance company she needs to rebuild, not repair. She says FEMA's response? A letter saying it could be months more before they can even respond to her because they're so backlogged with similar claims from so many other people. Now, Kent Baylor and a neighbor also dealing with the same situation. They both have strong advice for homeowners preparing for this hurricane season. Yeah. Everybody can find their words of wisdom online right now at newsforjax.com. Yeah, nobody would want to go through what they've gone can you through. Imagine? Uh, and I think the, the thing that, that is so frustrating for those of us watching there is it, this idea that when an insurance company, you've got the coverage, but they're not going to play, 
uh, pay, that is. So when the insurance company doesn't give me as a homeowner enough money to pay those claims, is it all on me? Is, is that when it's left? The homeowner here has to pick up the rest of the bill. Well, according to the state fire marshal, who is also the chief financial officer, CFO Jimmy Patronis, he says you should always get a second opinion to verify the cause of your losses and the cost to repair or replace the damage. And also, this is important, as the state CFO, Patronus also helps Floridians with flood insurance issues. He's got a helpline. It is free to call. It's 1-877-MY-FLCFO. That's 1-877-639-5236. And it really is worth it to call, Kent, because just from victims of Hurricane Irma alone who called in, right. his office was able to get an additional $8 million from insurance companies, which is money hurricane victims wow. never would have received. And don't worry, if you didn't get that number, we also have it inside the story right now on newsforjax.com.